another adventure. If we can ever get out of the beeping city. I don't know what it is with traffic. I am just up to here with it. We're off, we gotta go get some gas. It's cheaper out this way. Uh, I don't see a gas station to see how much cheaper. Um, and then I gotta swing by doghouse and we're back to snow place again. I was told today that it is hotter here than it is in Mexico right now. So, what? what? That tells you how warm it is. But how long is this traffic gonna go for? Oh, oh. I feel like it's a long weekend or something. Just grabbed their new fly from Lee at Doghouse. Um, because of my stupidity, uh, when we closed up the tent last time, I left the annex room inside. Um, but there's a ladder, and there's a cover for the ladder. But I missed putting the protection over it, and I should have put like a towel or something give it a bit more cushioning. But I guess with the vibrations and everything with the truck moving, um, it actually wore a hole in the skylight. So right now, it's got a sticker on the bottom and a sticker on top. <laughs> in case it rains, it'll still leak. But I reached out to Lee and Lee said, I got you, Daryl. Thanks for being honest with this one. Um, you know, you mess up, you mess up. And I've always felt honesty is the best policy. And, you know, that's just the way it is. But I love the way Doghouse goes above and beyond with their tents. And I find that truly amazing. And if you haven't, check out Doghouse Tents. Good food? Mm hmm? Is that good? Sorry, I can't bug you while you're eating, can I? <laughs> so I got the bug zapper out. Uh, this one I'm not too sure if it really does it very much. Um, Cause considering it's pulling zero power, the solar's bringing in 66 right now, and I'm at 30, 30%. 30 
I was at 22% this morning, uh, but the sun's just starting to come out. I got the solar panel right there. Should catch most of the sun. Um, and then this solar does not charge the other um, power bank. So I guess if I can try hooking it up to the truck solar, see what happens. Richard abusing kids again. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> we're helping out with the amazing race and we're teaching kids about mechanical advantage. And they're having fun. I'm having fun with you? That's surprising. Do you want to have a tug of war with your dad? Ooh, you would okay. win, I guarantee it. I want to. Uh, tug of war? Then you're gonna take your left one and go over the right one. Kid made dinner. Tosh is eating her dinner. I don't know where is. We were working on getting there in the winter of 2000, and in October of 2000, Arafat started another intifada that squashed that idea. So again, put on the back burner. Lauren's health is still decreasing. Lauren's nephew, that had been with us in the gap, came and took the jeep. He said, "Look, I'm gonna get you guys back to Israel." So he took it back to his place in um, Red, uh, Richland, Washington, and he and some friends started to go fund me. They got a little bit of money there, but they started. Race weekend for four. Who wants to go racing? Yeah. All right. Long day. Hot day. Uh huh. Get burnt. No, ow. Sorry, I tried to see you with the camera. <laughs> I like to poke Try to poke you. Try to poke you, see if you're burnt. The lights are on in the tent. Those are the solar lights. Toshi's looking at. Toshi's out. channels as well as how to start a YouTube channel, which is pretty simple, but it's just a matter of going on and clicking through the steps and making it work. But um, there's a lot of different reasons for it, and I want to share some of my favorite episodes and you know, the reasons why we started it. So, but um, yeah, I don't know if you want to start with your side, but why you guys started your channel. Well, I grew up adventuring. Like, I remember being Caden's age and my parents, we drove all through Canada and the U.S. But you kind of grow up and you kind of... So we filmed it and I kind of fell in love with the whole process of, you know, 
filming it and editing it. And then that first video got like 20,000 views. I'm like, oh, there's something to this. So we started on the journey of YouTube. And it's not an easy journey. Um, it takes a lot of time, a lot of patience. But the thing that I've really enjoyed along the way is, you know, the places we've got to see um, that I never knew were in our own backyard. Um, and I get to experience it with my son, sometimes my wife, um, and sometimes Tasha. We take it home, we start planning out our build and everything, and as you see, there is a, a top top on it. Got up early this morning um, so we could get on the road before the heat starts. Yesterday it was uh, 100 and almost 105, 104.5. So yesterday got up to. Um, that's hot. And kind of stayed in the shade for Tasha's sake, um, but definitely got burnt. So I thought this morning we'd get up at 4.30. We were partially packed already uh, to make this morning a little bit easier. Uh, got everything packed up and we headed out. So the sun's starting to come up, start seeing it and start feeling it too. But we got another two hours till we are home. It's a long drive. The BCOR is a great event. Uh, this year they moved it from Merritt, which we just went through, uh, to Kelowna, which is a few hours or an hour or so outside. And uh, beautiful place, very dusty, but beautiful location, nice view, and uh, it's nice to have a change. A change of venue is always kind of nice um, for a fresh, Fresh outlook, fresh start, whatever you want to call it. Um, but we had an amazing time uh, meeting up with new friends, old friends, and um, we did a seminar with. Well, I won't be as bad as Wes and forget the name of my channel. Thanks, Wes. Um, but Four by Four podcast um, interviewed us. A while back and it was nice to actually do a round table with Wes and uh, Mike from Unexpected um, Adventures. The Unexpected Adventures. So now I'm gonna mess up on your channel Mike, sorry. Um, but we had a great little chat and it, it's always it's nice to help other people whether they're getting into Instagram, YouTube, social media and stuff like that. Um, to you know some of the mistakes that you've made that they don't have to make and I, I enjoy trying to help people where we can um, all I only advice I was ever given to by a friend of mine was get into YouTube I don't know if that was good advice or bad advice I am enjoying it though I am enjoying our adventure um, if it wasn't for that advice and the pandemic hitting, I honestly don't know where I would be. This this journey has it's helped for me um, to keep me sane. Essentially, uh, it, it helps clear my mind and uh, fill my soul. I think that's one of the sayings I used to say in the very beginning. Um, do you remember exactly what it was, Kaden? Clear my mind and find my soul. Something like that. Um, I don't remember exactly what I used to say, but that was before we really started doing epic shit. And that's our slogan now, is saying doing epic shit. Because we like to get out and explore. And by exploring, it's not only educating us, but it's getting rid of that stress of the week, of the work week. And that's what I like. But thanks to Ray and his wife for another great event at the BCOR. 
and we'll see you guys soon.